Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here, and today I've got a football one-on-one -on -one video, and today's video is on football chin straps. So when it comes to finding the right chin strap for you as a football player, you should really take your position into the most consideration. Now, it's when you look at chin straps, there are, there are several brands, uh, styles, the types of hookups are different, uh, you know, different colors, everything you can consider. But um, I'm going to kind of talk about just chin straps in general and just kind of the, the main differences between, say, a soft cup chin strap and then a hard cup. And then you just have kind of your other brands as well that uh, make their own. But uh, let's start off with talking with about the soft chin strap. So anytime you see a soft chin strap, uh, obviously there's no hard pieces of this. It's just, uh, it's just a very thin uh, layered chin strap. Uh, now you could say this one doesn't offer a lot of protection, but I actually prefer using a soft cup over anything. That's my personal preference, being that I was a lineman. Uh, I'd always feel like the harder cup chin straps would actually fall off if I would get, say, clubbed in the head or something, or if someone was to get under my face mask in a way, or put their hand up there and push up, like that could come off. And I had my helmet come off a few times before when I had a, a hard cup, but I feel like this one being that it's closer to your chin and it can fit a little tighter, and you know, you have so much extra padding with this, um, I feel like I personally got a better. Um, just got more use out of this uh, style of a uh, chin strap. Now the harder cup ones, um, you know, this is one from Riddell. So you've got it's uh, it's not very flexible, as you can kind of tell there. It's not meant to move. Uh, the padding on the inside is foam. Uh, some things like the Under Armour ones, they'll come in like a more mesh, or say they'll have a removable uh, thing that you can clean little liner in there some will have gel to make it more comfortable uh, there's just a lot of different brands out there but uh, this standard Riddell one usually comes with their helmets like if you're ordering a helmet online or if it comes with your helmet that you get from your school or however you get it you'll usually get something like this and they usually charge a little extra uh, to put this on I believe the soft cup ones that come nat that just come with the um, the helmet itself are usually free but um it just really depends on your position. So if you are a player that that gets a lot of contact, such as a running back or a linebacker, you know you're always involved in contact in some way. Uh, a harder cup chin strap may be for you. One thing that you should also pay attention to is the hookup style of your chin strap and your helmet. So with this Riddell one, this is a usually what's called a mid to high hookup. You've got uh, longer straps that go up higher, and if you look at this uh, Revel Speed, you can tell that it has a a spot for the chin strap here and one up high. So this is your high hookup and the chin strap would normally just uh, hook up there and then connect down here as well. So and then you should also this is the under armor one also is a mid to high hookup as well but then you also have some that's uh, what's called a low hookup and it, sometimes it just depends on the helmet style or you know just usually uh, what you have as far as uh, the hookup style and I'll show you um, this is usually what looks like a hookup style for a low so you've got uh, two main hookup straps uh, or the hookup placements right here so you'd be able to hook up to each side you don't have any that go up higher uh, actually with these helmets these old uh, these old Riddell helmets you could actually kind of modify which way you want to do it but that's what a low a hookup looks like. Uh, I mean, you guys heard my opinions on which uh, is kind of like I prefer. So, I mean, it really does depend on what position you play. Um, I would just definitely recommend uh, trying, you know, each one out and just seeing which 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 one you like better. Um, that's really my um, everything that I've got to say about chin straps. So, if you guys have any more questions on anything about chin straps in general or any of the chin straps here I can be uh, helpful and uh, help you guys out in the comments down below if you leave questions there. But uh, that's going to do it for now. Uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more Football 101 videos and check out my other ones. Uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram for updates on the channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.